hi and hello guys uh, today in this video let me show you all as to how you can run the latest version of google tv uh, based on android 12 on your pc so for this we'll be making use of the android studio and its built-in emulator see if you have your own doubts regarding this build or say if you are skeptical then i would suggest you to scroll over to the demo from the timestamps given below Okay, so without any further delay, let us get started. To get started with, head over to developer.android.com forward slash studio. I will leave the link for this in the description of this video. Click on the download Android Studio button, scroll down, accept the terms and conditions and then click on this download button to download the Android Studio application. Okay, so once you have downloaded the Android Studio application, just double tap on that. When prompted, choose yes. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next once again. And then finally click on install. The installation is complete. Now click on the next button. Leave the start Android button selected and then choose finish. Okay, so now the Android studio should start. And uh, as it is, you won't have the SDK. It will say no SDK found. Click on next. Okay, so in the screen, uh, make sure to select both the checkboxes and make sure that uh, API 31 Android 12 is selected. And uh, before proceeding further, please do make a note of this Android SDK location. We'll be making use of this in the later part of this video. Okay, so in the later part of this video, I'll be showing you as to how you can set this Google TV to auto start on boot with Windows. At that time, you'd be needing this uh, location. So please do make a note of the location of the Android SDK installation. And now choose next and then choose finish okay so the installation of the Android components is complete click on the finish button okay so when you are presented with the screen click on the three dots at the right top and then choose AVD manager and then select create virtual device in here select the tv option on your left set the android tv version to 1080p uh, and then choose next so in this page over here you have uh, various options to choose see if you want the google tv look uh, click on the first download button at the top so if you want the Android TV look for your Android 12 build, click on the second download button over here. So after you click on the download button, you'll be presented with the license agreement. Choose accept and then choose next. Okay, so the installation of the TV image is complete. Click on the finish button now. And then choose next. In this window over here, uncheck the option that says device frame and from the drop down against the graphics choose hardware and now click on the show advanced options leave these two options uh, unchanged scroll down and under the boot option set it to cold boot so every time the android uh, tv boots it will boot as though it has been just powered up okay so if you have a multi-core computer, set the number of cores that you want the Android system to use and uh, you can set the RAM availability over here and also the internal space over here. Okay, so once all that is done, you can then choose finish. And once you click on this launch button, your Android TV should launch.
So as you can see now, you are getting the full screen experience. Just by looking at it, you cannot just say that it's being run from an emulator. At the first instance, you'll be prompted to add your account. Add your account. Sign in using your Gmail ID. Okay, so now as you can see, I have signed in and you can see the beautiful Google TV interface. Okay, so let me quickly show you as to how we can set this Android TV to auto start on boot. So in order to set the Android TV to auto start on boot, simultaneously press on the Windows uh, key and the R key. In this run window type shell colon. startup okay so this will take you to a window an empty window in this window right click and choose new and then text document give it a name i will give it atv.txt double click on that and inside this document paste the command that I have given in the description of this video and in also in the pinned comment. So if you can recall, I had earlier asked you to make a note of the path of the Android SDK installation. Paste the path over here. Okay, head over to the location where you have installed the Android SDK. And then you should find a folder called emulator. Copy the path and then replace the path preceding the backslash emulator.exe. Okay. Once you have got the path to the emulator figured out, then you need to append or change the name of your AVD or the virtual device. So if you are not sure of the name of your AVD, open a PowerShell. In here, pa in here, copy and paste the path to the emulator and then type hyphen list hyphen AVDS. Okay, so this will give you the name of the AVD that you have used. 
in my case it is android underscore tv whatever okay replace the name that i have given with your actual name of your android avd device now press ctrl and s to save okay okay so before you exit right click and choose more options and then rename and remove the dot txt and rename it as dot bat okay this will be a batch file and then choose yes okay so once the windows reboots you should have the android tv launch automatically now open the task manager and click on the startup tab under the startup tab you should find the atv.bat okay so that is pretty much it guys so i really hope that you find this video useful and informative thanks for watching take care and bye bye